WAW Beauties, the place for wig reviews, where we love to have some, it's all about life, fitness, food, fashion, and fun, girl talk, guy talk, y'all, let's have some fun, okay? So I want to welcome you into WAW Beauties, I'm your girl Bree. yes, I'm in the car today, this is a Car Side Chronicles edition that I'm bringing to you guys here, and I want to say come on in, if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, be sure to follow me on Instagram at WAW Beauties, yes, this one is a little bit different, but I I want to welcome all of my new subscribers that have subscribed you guys thank you for subscribing we got some amazing things coming up i know this week um we're heading into valentine's soon to be in the next uh, this is what, next week are you guys ready that is the question and so today we're going to talk a little bit about everything i'm going to talk about my top five gifts maybe for valentine's day that you might want to get your boo thing yep and then also you guys have you guys seen sisters as i said we talk about fashion fitness food fun life girl talk guy talk okay did you guys see sisters last night man the episode was so good if one thing tyler perry know how to do is he know how to deliver and bring a good episode Woo, man i watched it i fell asleep on the first time down goes frazier but i'm still here i fell asleep on it the first time but then i woke up and i watched it Again, I feel so again, but it wasn't the, that the title, the story was born. It was like, girl was sleepy, okay? I had a busy day yesterday, y'all. But, so, as I was making mention, I watched Sisters, and from the beginning of the episode, I remember, like, it came into, like, the girls having their uh, celebration and celebrating Sabrina's birthday, which I thought that was so, so amazing. I mean, I always think it's good to have connections and friends, like the sisters. And, um, I, I know, do you notice the part when Danny was trying to question Karen about asking if Zach was like the baby zaddy and how it wasn't really nothing wrong with him wanting to get a paternity result. I mean, DNA testing to see if he was father, which I think is actually true. Now, my question is, as your best friend, do you think it's right, though, for your best friend to question your potential baby father or to come to your baby father with that kind of information? Let me know in the comments, would you be that kind of friend like Danny? And would you go to the baby's father or if the baby father came to you, would you be like, yeah, definitely push to get a DNA test for that child? I mean, it's like, it's different levels to this thing. Like, you know, that's supposed to be my boot, you know, my boom shaka ruka ruka best friend. It's like, kind of like, hold on, you know, but then, you know, the character of your friend, you know, she did say that Karen had passed. But I mean, it's just a lot. I don't know. I, I I really don't know where I feel as if I feel if Danny was right or I feel if Danny was wrong. I'm kind of in between because at the same time, myself, I'm really questioning, is Zach the baby daddy? Like, I really want to know that myself. And then also on another part that really stood out to me yesterday was the part when, um, you know, Zach got full custody of the baby of his son which is cool and then Fatima you know it was so funny to how Zach was like mom 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 and it was so funny how Fatima she had she was very happy and then when she found out she was going to law school her vibe just changed and I was like wow being in her situation would you stay or would you like, like would you take on the whole responsibility of now going from not having to take care of any kids now you're taking care of kids and then I chores. What would you do? I want to know, like, question, like, what what would you do? I really hope that Tyler Perry plays this scene out right, though, where Fatima still is able to get her law degree and become a lawyer, and that the whole situation that involves Zach and his kids don't interrupt her going on her career path. Because I am definitely an advocate of you know going going ahead and getting your education, but I'm also an advocate of love and family and children too. So it's like I, I don't know. It's it's a tough spot to be in, but I think that. I I think that it should. I think it's probably going to play out. Tyler Perry probably will hopefully let Fatima get her law degree because the girl, as you've seen in all her shenanigans, she would make a great, 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 great attorney. Woo! Especially with Madam on her side. Child! And then another part that was funny. Now, that part about Maurice when he was in his apartment about that cupcake. <laughs> 
And that was a lot. I was like, oh my gosh. And he said, I brought it to a uh, Sabrina. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then he was like, no, you don't want that. I was like, really, Maurice? Really? I think Maurice's character is hilarious. And I know some people in the sisters' vlogs be like, I don't like Maurice. I love Maurice. I think his character is funny. He definitely keeps the humor going. And I do like how they made mention. They did mention Calvin in the scene. But of course, I don't know if Calvin coming back because they mentioned he paid his rent, but that was it. But it's kind of good. It's kind of like leaving an open door for him possibly to come back. If they did mention that, hey, Calvin paid his rent. His name was mentioned. So who knows? Calvin might come back. I mean, are you a fan of Calvin actually coming back if he do come back though? Like that's the question. I mean, it's like Calvin, he was funny, especially that part when, when you were in part of the debate. That that was funny. Oh my gosh. And then lastly, the part that was really funny to me, not funny, but the part that was like in total shockness was the part at the very end when Gary kissed Tamara. Bruh. I'm like, Gary is shady on so many levels. He, first of all, that ain't his real name. He's an alias. He has a passport. And it's like, Gary got so much shadiness going on. I don't even know what his character is going to end up doing. I mean, Gary is so like, oh my gosh. He is like, Gary is on a whole nother level for the, in this show. And I must say, he is definitely not my favorite from the way he be treating these women to having these all these secret things going on. Gary got a lot going on. And then the fact that he kissed Hayden supposed to be his boy girl. I'm like, bro. Like, I wanted to do Hayden and I mean, like, the Tamara and Gary. Do you think they had like a past or something going on? Because her hostility and her vibes was like really, really like negative Nancy and hatred towards him from the moment he walked in the door with Penelope. So I'm wondering, like, is there something going on possibly between or something that has happened in the past between Gary and Tamara? Because her vibes was like, mm -mm, Gary, I ain't got nothing to do with you. Gary, get out of here while you're here. And she was just snap, 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 snap. She was just like, oh, like Gary. Oh. oh, my gosh. But when he kissed Penelope, oh, my Bro, gosh. I was like, whoa, naked. are you serious? Oh I ain't believing that he did that, y'all. Oh, my gosh. But last night's recap of Sisters, this recap, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because it was something definitely to say for the books. And I'll be watching next Wednesday. Will you? That has just been my... Brie Chronicles of WW Beauties, Chronicles in the Car, just recapping on sisters and just sharing a little bit more about myself. So I want to say thank you for tuning in and not tuning out. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at WAW Beauties with a Z. And I will see you on the next one. Well, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next amazing drive through a car chronicles with me, your girl Brie. See you later. Until then. See you later, beauties. I know I messed it up, but in my soul.